Hello everyone. Welcome to Controllers Tech. As I promised to continue the free RTOS tutorials, today, I brought to you, another video on RTOS. In this video, we will see the various operations, that we can perform on the tasks. Let's start by creating the project in Cube ID first. I am using STM32F446RE controller. Give some name to it, and click finish. Now, first of all, I am going to select the external clock. I am using CM Sys version 1, as it it supported majority of the STM32 devices. Leave everything as it is. Just enable the V task delay until. It's an important parameter, and I will explain you how it works. In the sys, time base source, select any source other than sys tick. I am using timer 1. Next, set up the clock, and click save to generate the project. I am including stdio.h file, because I am going to use the printf, to debug. We have to define a new write function. I already made a video about printf debugging, check that on the top right corner. First of all, let's see if the things are working properly. Before everything starts. A default task is already defined by default. This is to check if the task runs or not. Giving a delay of 1 second for this task. Let's build the code. In the debug configuration, enable the serial wire viewer. In the core clock type the frequency of the HCLK. Now, go to Windows, Show View, SWV, and select ITM Data Console. In the setting, Enable the comparator 0, and check the stimulus port 0. Press the red button to start recording. Now you can see the printf string being printed on the console. This means that the default task is running well, every 1 second. Now, let's create another task. To do so, first we need to define the task handler. Next, define the entry function for the task. Now, inside the main function, first define the thread. All thread def takes the following parameters. 
name of the task, entry function for the task, priority. I am giving it higher priority than the default task, instance, and stack size. Next, we need to assign the ID of this task to its handler. Now, I am writing the entry function for this task. It will print the value of the index variable and a delay of two seconds. Let's build it and I will explain you how this works. Make sure you press the record button. Okay, let's see. Starting is printed at the beginning. Now the control will be transferred to the kernel. The kernel have two tasks in the ready state. Default task, and task 2. The priority of task 2 is higher, and that's why it will run first. After running the printf statement, the task will go in the blocked state for 2 seconds. Kernel will now run the default task. After executing the printf statement, this task will also go in the blocked state for one second. Nothing will run for this one second now. After one second, default task will again become ready, and kernel will run it. After printing, the task will again go in the blocked state for one second. Nothing will run for another second. After one second, both the tasks will be in ready state again. Because it's been two seconds since the task 2 was blocked. The kernel now again have two tasks ready to run, but it will run the task 2 first, because of the higher priority. And this whole process will continue again, and again. Let's take a look at some other functions available for task management. We are going to take a look at OS thread suspend and OS thread resume functions. Both of them take thread ID as the argument. Of course the thread ID of the thread that you want to suspend or resume. If index becomes 4, the default task should suspend. And, if index becomes 7, the default task will resume. Let's run it now. Make sure you enable the record button.
Okay, you see it happened. Now, let me explain, what's happening here. Let's take a look at the task 2 code. You see, when the index was 3, it will be printed, and the index will increment to 4. After this, the task will go in the blocked state for 2 seconds. When the task resumes after 2 seconds, index have the value of 4, and control will go inside the if loop. The default task will be suspended. After that, this loop will not be executed, and control will go back to the beginning, where the value of the index will be printed, and index will be incremented to 5. The task will be blocked for 2 seconds. As there is no default task anymore, this will keep executing every 2 seconds. The same thing will happen, when the index becomes 7. The default task will resume this time. So this was the demo for suspend, and resume tasks. Let me comment all this. Next, I am going to terminate the task 2 itself. OS thread terminate also requires the thread ID as the argument. Let's run this one now. As you can see here, the task 2 gets terminated, and default task runs only afterwards. We can also terminate default task, just give the thread ID of the same. Once the task is terminated, it can't be resumed. This is the difference between suspend, and terminate. We can also suspend all, or resume all threads. OS delay until is another function, I wanted to show you guys. It blocks the task for some time, and resumes automatically. As you can see the description, we need to define a variable to store the elapsed time. Again I am going to run this under a specific condition. And once the condition is reached, the task will be blocked for 3 seconds. Let's run it. As you can see the exact thing happening here. The task is blocked for 3 seconds and resumes after that. There are more functions available for task, and I can't cover all of them. OS thread yield passes the control to the next thread, that's ready to execute. Again, we can use it under some condition. Also, there are functions like set priority, or get priority, and so on. This is it guys. This video covered many functions for task operations. I will continue this series of RTOS, and we will cover semaphores, messages, queues etc in the coming videos. I hope you understood the video. 
You can download the code from the link in the description. Have a nice day.